Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Tina 9000. She's in the Soul Forge right now. Let's go check it out. We'll do the other stuff too, like the pet rescue and venture board dungeon, maybe some world event. But I want to get started with uh, Tina being in the Soul Forge at the moment. Uh, da -da -da. That's the itinerary, if you will. Probably mostly Tina early and then cardio, world event, pet, maybe some vault. But not. it's not going to be a super long live stream maybe an hour probably two hours max hour and a half something like that uh, let's turn this button on you're in the right place all right what up drock how's it going you got any tina teams i didn't really nobody really gave me any so i was just gonna like teach people how to build around like build a team you know so let's go uh where would you want to use tina i would say maybe pvp would be a good Let's go do some PvP. I'm gonna build a Tina team, just like to show beginners. I'm not the best team builder, but I know like the basics of building a team. So let's go into PvP. We'll go to one trophy. Uh, first of all, though, one sec. Uh, Soul Forge. Best troop in the Soul Forge is Tina. Right here. I call her a top ten mythic. Uh, other people may not. Bottom of the top ten, not like anywhere near the top, but. I would say, you know, 8, 9, something like that, 7 maybe, but uh, definitely a top 10 for me. I mean, look at this thing. Um, it's a mech, it deals true damage up to 80, for me at least. I know it's based on your stats, anything in the purple, but um, you got 1, 2, or 3, nice, that'd be cool. What up, Matthew, how's it going? Uh, Yeah, then gain 80 armor to 3 random enemies, so it could hit... The same enemy, like, three times with 80 true damage. That would kill anything in the game, pretty much. And then gain 80 armor. That's a lot of armor. Uh, plus it has good traits. Uh, electrified plating. Spell block. Some of the highest uh, spell damage mitigation in the game because it gains armor. And it has 50%. So, as long as it's not hitting true, it'd be good. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's in the Soul Forge Top 10 Mythic, so... How many Tina? Oh, just one, I guess. I don't. Ha I don't think I have more than one. So I don't. I couldn't show any more than one. But let me build one real fast so I could teach the beginners how to build a team. Let's see if I have an open slot though. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Um, get rid of that, and then let's go get Tina. So go down to the T's. This is just how I would build a team, not. You know, there might be better ways. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best ever at building. Building, you know, sometimes there's like crazy troops out there that synergize well with other troops, and I just don't know about it. So, come on, Tina, where are you at? Right here. So the first thing I always look at, you know, just what does the thing do? And I already said that, but let's say it again, because you want to see what is it doing. This is your uh, damage dealer, mostly, I would say. It's doing true damage um so what you'd want to do probably is pair it up with another true damage or um i don't know the first thing i usually do is check it out say oh it's a mech so maybe we can get a half mana start for mech somewhere that's usually what i go with first like if i'm going to build a team around tina then uh i'd probably try to get it a 50 percent start or something like that so i'd want a 50 percent start for a mech um d -Rock says, Tina, Drill Shooter, Spark Grinder, Tink, Maze Banner. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'll look at that 50% uh, start for a mech. I think that's in the Mechanist class. So, let's go there. Look at this. Um, pretty sure, right? All mech allies start with 50% mana. So that's usually the first thing I look for. I mean, it's a mythic. It uses a lot of mana. You might want to start it with 50% start. So that's the first thing I usually try to find is a 50% start. So now we need a weapon. Um, I don't know. Weapon's not usually the first thing I pick. I usually look at all the other troops. 
and then do the weapon last. But definitely a Mechanist class, and so now we have a 50% start, so 24 gets cut to 12. Um, and then uh, maybe I'd look for some other mechs, because we could start them with 50% mana as well. So I'd go to troop type, mech, just to see what we got to work with. You don't have to make a team full of mechs with 50% start. You could do something else, but just to see if we have anything that goes really well with uh, Tina. And Tina's doing damage, doing true damage, so keep that in mind. Um, so you could find another mech that does true damage, or you could find a mech that... Uh, is a mana generator. So let's. We got Iron Hawk. Probably not. Uh. Carnex. It's making skulls and then exploding skulls and gaining armor. Hmm. Dracos. Nutcracker. Eliminate all armor from an enemy. Eh. We're already skipping their armor, so we don't really need that. Um, this has an Electro Storm. That's another thing to think about, a storm. So we're right now we're thinking about our 50% our start and our mech. Uh, you could also think about a storm for whatever color your troop uses. Electro Storm is yellow and red, so eh. Uh, Mechator. Really thinking, see here's true damage. Deal 38 true damage to an enemy. There's a 10% chance to kill them boosted by their armor. Shocktopus, destroy 8 gems of a chosen color. Deal 35 true damage to each em enemy of that color. There we go, we could use this. And it would start uh, with 6, only needing 6 mana. That could be our mana generator slash uh, clean up, clean up uh, true damage. Shocktopus. Steal 42 armor from an enemy and deal 42 true damage. There's another true damage. Goblin rocket. Extra turn. Uh, Clockwork knight. Gain 39 armor. Transform a random gem color to yellow. Cool if we had something that was empowered. Uh, gain 27 life and attack. Not a big ore fan. Destroy all gems of a chosen color. Give all allies 34 armor boosted by gems destroyed. Uh, Nutcracker in place of Spark Grinder. Yeah, I never get to use Nutcracker. The only thing I was thinking, man, it, it gets rid of armor. And we're already skipping past the armor, but it does explode. Tectobot. Give all other allies a quarter of their mana. Create seven red gems for each enemy with full mana. That's so weird. Destroy a column, create nine brown gems. You could always use a deep borer if you need a cheap mana generator. He, he could make a, a lot of brown, um, which Tina does use. We got Bombot. Would start with five, only needing five mana, then explode two random gems. Okay, hmm. Didn't really find anything empowered. We could just go... Now we can find, like, once you decide, am I going to use a team full of mechs or not for your 50% start, um, you could go instead and, and take mech off now. Take Rocky on steroids, yeah. Now we take mech off, and uh, now I'm just going to look up empowered, because an empowered troop's always good for any team, really. So empower... So now this is all of our empowered troops. So it doesn't have to be a mech now. We already got... We're going to make our, our hero a mech. Tina's a mech. Shocktopus is a mech. Um, we already got some mana generation and some backup damage. So we could go either way. But um, you really want to have something that's going to start you off fast. No matter what it is. Um, could just be Leprechaun or... But um, let's pick something that uh, we're not using the color yet. That doesn't matter with empowered though. Because with Empowered, it's already up. It doesn't matter. But I don't know. Let's see what we got to work with, I guess. Um, green Gems to Skulls. I like an Exploder. Something that's going to explode. and uh, It does its thing like almost every time. So yeah, maybe just a Leprechaun here. 
Leprechaun's good almost all the time. Yeah. Leprechaun. Unless we find something that's also does something else, I don't know. Hmm. Then for the weapon, let's clear filter. Hey, Markio, how's it going? Yeah, I'm trying. You know, however the live streams go is how many I do. You know what I mean? Like, if this goes well, we might do one tomorrow. If it doesn't, then we won't. Uh, all right. Make sure everything's set up over here. And let's do this. I'm going to jump in the chat real quick. Right in the middle of explaining how to make a team. But uh, remember to hit like, please. Oh, nice. Thank you, Matthew. Well, there we go. That's definitely uh, definitely goes towards the live stream tomorrow. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Matthew Walls upgraded membership to Puppet Master. All right. That's amazing, dude. Really, really appreciate that. Puppet Master is the highest tier. <laughs> so that's so sweet, dude. Jump, jump. Chris Cross will make ya. What up, Tim? How's it going, man? You had Kimmy in stream last night? I haven't seen her in forever. I, she's, I think she's been working a lot, right? Must be working a lot. That's what she said the last time I seen her. Anyway. Appreciate you, Matthew, once again, man. Maybe we'll do another one tomorrow, guys. All because of Matthew. Alright, and weapon... Um, so now the problem with our Leprechaun is, like, if we wanted to do a mech, a weapon that does something based off how many mechs you got, now we have one troop that's not a mech, and usually with those type of weapons, you want to have a full team of whatever it is, because whatever it's going to do, if you only have three, it's a lot, you need, like, four to make it really, like, get an extra turn or whatever it's going to be. When you only have three, it just doesn't seem like it doesn't work as well, so now we might just go with, like, a... I don't know. We got everybody in our team's green. For just just kind of take a look at your team and what what you got going on so far. You know, like everybody on our team is green. That's one thing I'm noticing. We got two mechs. Um, we're gonna have a 50% start for those two mechs. This thing kind of does a little bit of mana generation and backup true damage. Uh, this is doing all a bunch of true damage, and the leprechaun's empowered and exploding green, which everybody uses so far. So you got to kind of like keep all of that in mind as you. Look at, look for your weapon. Which I don't know, man. What do you think? A reflection of good, maybe? Essence of evil, mountain crusher. Those are always good. Or we could go the true damage route. Or we could go the mech route. Bronze lock pistol. Weapons are always one of the hardest things, I think. Um, I think there's a mech weapon, but like I said, we only got three mechs. So it's not as impressive. But those explodey mech weapons aren't bad. I mean, that doesn't really matter. So we could... What's the new explodey mech weapon? I forget what it's called. Um, it just came into the game, didn't it? What's that thing called? Explodey mech weapon. Oh, the, um, 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 um. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue, guys. It's not the drill shooter, it's the... What? It's just like the drill shooter, but it's, um, what the heck is it called? It just came in. Drill shooter. If I looked at the drill shooter long enough, I would think about it. Drill shooter. Engineer drill. Yeah, there you go. I skipped over it. Yeah, let's try that, maybe. Where are you at, engineer's drill? The engineer's drill. Remember the engineer's drill. So stupid. I hate that. There it is. Okay. So we got... And it's adding blue to our team. So we got blue, purple, yellow, red, brown, and green. So we got every color. Red, green, brown, yellow, purple, blue. And we could minus purple since Leprechaun only really does his thing one time and then... We're done with them, pretty much, so we could minus purple, so I like that. Uh, now what order are we going to put these in? We could have Tina up front. Pretty beefy. Um, 
And you don't want your engineer's drill up front because... But you also want to get it up pretty quickly. Um, maybe put it here. Because you want to be able to summon. I don't know. Let's just try it like this, and then we'll see what happens. That's another thing about making teams. Like, you're not going to get it right on the first try, usually. You'll... You'll be using your team and you'll real, you'll realize I don't need this troop, but I do need this. Or I need some sort of tank, this keeps happening. Or I need another mana generator, I'm not getting up fast enough. Or this weapon's not really working for me, I need something else. Or this class isn't really, you know, we don't really need this, we need that. Like we could really use a storm, we don't have a storm. Like we could really use a nice green storm here or something, but we're using Mechanist for the 50% 50, uh, 50 mana start. Let's go check out Mechanist now, see what else it's got to offer us. Um, Serendipity. Give a random ally a random status effect. I don't think we have any of these. Tome, Missile, Shield. We're using a drill, whatever that is. Gain barrier at the start of battle. Add 20% of armor to skull damage. Gain 3 magic at the start of battle. I don't think any of that's going to matter. When an ally dies, barrier another random ally. Well, I hope we don't die, but that would be nice, I guess. So, uh, I don't know. It'd be nice to have a green storm here, but I guess we're not. We're gonna go with the. Uh, let's go with this and just see what happens. Oh, banner. Then we need a definitely a double green. So you want to look at what colors you're using. What are we using the most of? Green. So we want a double green, and then. Are we using any other color more than once? And no, we're not. So what do we want to get up the quickest? Or what do we want to minus is the next thing you would think of. So I'm thinking I want to minus purple. So we could use the double green, double red. We could use the best banner. So let's use that. All right, let's see how this team goes. Like I said, I'm not the best team builder ever, but I could teach you the basics of it. And then hopefully you can go from there. But yeah, the main thing I always look at first is like what... What what typing is the troop? And then, like, can I get a 50% start? I don't know why, but that's usually the first thing I'm thinking about. Because that's a lot. That's a guaranteed 12 mana every single battle. You don't have to uh, hope that you get some sort of convert. You don't have to hope that your explosion does its thing. You know this is a guaranteed 12 mana as soon as you start the battle. And it's for everybody on our team. We got 6 out of 12 here. We got 7 out of 12 here. We got 12 out of 24 there. We got um, 25 mana. Well, really, if you count Leprechaun, we're starting the matchup with 37 mana, like, right away. Extra turn. All right, now we could either do Engineer's Drill or Leprechaun here. Um, we got 10 brown or 15 green. I think I'm going to go with the Leprechaun. Now we already have Tina up. Crush that thing in the face. Extra turn. And it should kill here. We're on one trophy, so not super impressive, but yeah. What up, Bear Razor Man? Thank you for uh, joining up uh, last week. I appreciate it. Um, Reynaldo, what's going on? Random stream times are crazy. Sebastian, how's it going? Thank you, Engineer's Drill. Thank you, Blank Gray Man. What up, John? What up, Rain Man? What up, Young Mo Ali? How's it going? I always find it nice to get important troops that require 20 or more mana on 50% start. Me too. Morning, Cinny. Unicorn hard at work. I got you in the background. Thanks, Rain Man. They really need to add weapons for world events to get my guild to buy two weapon. There you go, John. Even though um, with the, the, the world event this week... You could do your share without even buying anything. You could uh, tier zero. I know a lot of guild leaders don't want to hear that, and they probably hate hate when people say that. But um, to do your share this week, you don't even have to buy any tiers. It's zero. You can do your share without buying any tiers. But then you got like, it makes it harder on the rest of the guild because then you don't have enough tokens usually. I don't know. It depends. Like if you have a, a full guild of thirty that. They're all going to do at least something, and, and and most of them do their part. Then it's cool 
you can buy zero tiers and you can do your part and hopefully everybody does that and then you get the final reward but i understand if you're in like a half dead guild where only half the people are doing stuff that you probably don't want to see that and you don't want people telling you that yeah you don't have to buy any tiers but yeah if there was a weapon i would definitely buy buy it so that's a good good point there it'd be cool if they did add weapons to the world event so people would buy up to the weapon all right so nothing going on at the beginning here so let's do our leprechaun okay tina's already up fire her off kill that gnome we're on two trophy now let's take this blue and get our engineers drill up now we're going to get a positive status effect on our Tina and our Shocktopus and our hero. Which ended up being a enchant, it looks like. Um, anything going on? No, let's do Shocktopus. Destroy eight gems of a chosen color. Uh, let's do red. And you could do some board control with that if you really wanted to. Oh, you gotta do. I gotta pick. Uh, I gotta pick a color that they actually use. Oops, that was a fail. Tina again killed another troop. Um, and Tina's a pretty decent tank. Every time you cast her, gain in a bunch of armor. Boom! Killed that troop. Engineers drill. We get more enchant. Pretty cool that it's doing enchant almost every time. It's a random status effect. Uh, we're getting shocked to push next turn. Yeah, let's do blue. Shocked to push on what? Let's go on yellow, brown, or blue. And yellow, brown, or blue. Let's do brown. Even though that's bad for our engineer's drill, but hopefully we don't need it. There we go. Two trophy. Uh, Sebastian says, very well, my first live stream with my new internet. How's it going? Is it is it doing good? Are you happy with it? Uh, it'd be cool if everyone did their free battles working toward it, says John. Yeah, man. I agree with that one. Everybody should do their free battles until the event is complete. The only thing I don't like is when... I have, like, the op... I had, like, the opposite problem in the past where... The guild would get everything done really fast, like on Wednesday or Thursday, and then it would look like I didn't do anything because they got it done so fast. So now I'm in, like, last place or something. And I'm like, what the heck? If you guys didn't get it done on Wednesday night, I would do my share. And now there's, like, no reason. Because there's nothing to gain. It'd be just a waste. A waste of time. Spent some gems, though. When Tina gets armor, she's adding damage to her third trait. Yeah, that's true, man. So really good in first slot. Good point. All right, good old Leppy. Got Tina up already. Once again. Let's go with it. Killed their Queen Beatrix already. And... feel like I could get more than one. I could get some sort of cascade here. I might just go with this blue. Get our drill up. Let's drill them. Are we frozen? We're frozen on yellow and green. So we can take this. Um, we're frozen on green. So do not take this. We'll do the drill. Got our shocktopus. So we could take red... And we'll get an extra turn. So let's take red. Even though none of the, nobody on their team's using red, it'll just help us get our uh, Tina up and give us an extra turn. Now we have Tina instead for damage. Killed another one of them. While Tina just steadily gains armor up there. Up oh, there goes some of it. Bang! Electrified plating. Um, who's closest to getting up? Yeah, let's take blue. And engineer's drill. And leprechaun. And Tina. Whenever you can, do Tina. She gains armor. And she's the best damage dealer. Boom! Undefeated so far. Good problem to have.
says John. All right, man. So I'm liking this team, and it's my and I just made it off the top of my head. I didn't have it pre. I didn't have it ready. I just that was the point of this live stream was to build a team around Tina. I didn't have one in mind, but uh, this is working pretty well. Let's try it one more time so I can lose and uh. Let's try it till we lose, maybe. And then we'll do one of your guys' teams, if you got Tina teams. Alright. Okay, so Leprechaun. Tina right up. Uh-oh. If they get all loopy over there, we could go down, but... We do have spell damage. Uh, ooh, they stole our mana. All right, what do they got going on? They got uh, brown, yellow, brown. Yeah, let's do brown. Could try to get an extra turn. We're frozen, though. I'm just going to cast this on brown. Now Tina. I got turned into a beast down there, so my team... Are we frozen on yellow? No, so let's take that. We can get a little red. Eh, let's not. Let's do this. Now we'll do Tina, because she's almost dead, so we want that armor. But we could summon in, if we need to. Uh, what do we do here? 12 red, 10 brown. I think we just kill their wrath. We could probably just do it with skulls. See you later. Hmm. Uh, we'll see that now. Artina died finally. So here we go. Summon something else in. And survive their one troop over there, hopefully. And we keep getting turned into beasts. Awesome. But Amarok might be able to kill. Now they got turned into a beast. There's been three... This wasn't at the beginning of the matchup. This was not at the beginning of the matchup. And their troop over there was not at the... We got three new troops... All because of Lycanthropy. Lycanthropy. Thropy. We'll just dwindle, dwindle them down here. They only have one. We have four. I think we're going to win. And we win. We're still undefeated with my made-up Tina team. Markio, thank you, man. Hype, hype, hype. You guys are the best on Wednesday. I'm going to start live streaming on Wednesdays. That seems to be the best day. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and chat and see what we missed. No problem, young uh, young Mo Ali. He said, good bro, I gotta say I appreciate uh, the knowledge you provide for this game. Yeah, I've been playing for four years, so... um. Definitely learned some stuff along the way. I watched other people along the way, too. I don't really watch anyone anymore just because it's like a... I don't want to, like... You know what I mean? It's almost better that I don't watch other people that much. That way... You know, like, if you're right, if you're a songwriter or you're a, whatever, a, a singer or a rapper or whatever it is, you don't want to listen to too much other stuff that's going on at the same time as you because then you might accidentally, like, copy it or make something super similar. So, like, in the last year or so, I've been, like, trying to get away from watching other people's gems of war content um you know maybe once a week i will just to see what's going on like if i missed anything like sometimes i there's like one thing that i didn't think of or missed and it'll help me there but um markia says i have 914 in the world event so far that's more than your share i think i think you only need like uh what was it i think you already got more than you need though my guild loves hearing Tier Zero. So do I. Well, it doesn't matter for me because I have to make a video on Monday. So no matter what, I'm buying up until I get a medal. So it doesn't matter what it says to me. But I feel it makes it's cool for you guys. And, like, I feel good for you guys whenever it's a Tier Zero. Like, if I hear it's a Tier Zero, I'm like, all right. They don't have to buy up too far in the shop. Rain Man says, I was thinking about building a team around Tina 9000 yesterday. And here you are today giving ideas. No problem. Uh, it's in the Soul Forge for uh, PS4 and Xbox and PC and mobile right now. That's why. John says, it'd be cool if everyone did their free battles. Sebastian says, very well. My first live stream with my new internet. Nice. 
Bear says, also Cinny, yep. Spent some gems. John, good problem to have. Raymond. What up, Raymond Hobbs, by the way? I got lucky and got Tina as my first mythic, but hard to find a good setup. Also works well for uh, Explore 11 with Hammer, Tina, Leprechaun, and Tesla. Well, if you're doing 11, you should probably do 12. That's... Uh, I don't know. Hammer? So, what? Mountain Crusher, Tina, Leprechaun, and Tesla? Yeah, that sounds good, too. Like, instead of the Shocktopus, maybe a Tesla? Bear says, Tina is so well-rounded with adding armor for her third trait and first trait and reduces magic damage and does true damage. Yep. Markio with the hype, baby! Markio and Matthew, baby. We're gonna call this the Markio Matthew Show. Sebastian, Tina, match good with Tesla. D-Rock, did you do mine yet? No, I'm still on mine because I haven't lost yet, so I was just, like, showing that it's it's good somehow. You're working the next five days, Markio? That sucks. I hope it goes quickly for you. Yeah, I got Amarok. That that last battle was crazy. We had, like, Lycanthropy going, off, going crazy on us. Hopefully the other gems aren't horrible like Lycanthropy. I know. We got well you know we're gonna have that Uber that Uber Doom Skull. We're gonna have that. That's one that we're gonna have. That didn't seem too bad. It was just like plus ten instead of plus five or something like that, so let's use this one more time. Matthew's not liking lycanthropy either. What up Tosh246? How's it going? D Rock hates it. Yeah, me too. Strodium, what up Strodium? Good afternoon, all. My Tina team is for use on Red Guild Wars Day. Carnex or Tina up front, then Tesla. Getting loads of armor for this troop. Mech class. Weapon is undecided at the moment. Thank you, young Mo Alley. Raymond, trait stones always seem to be my problem lately. Well, you need to do more explore. Whether it's difficulty 1 or difficulty 12 or whatever. Pick a, t pick a trait stone that you need and uh, go do some explore. Uh, the, the vaults this weekend, so... Even better to do that this weekend. Um, also, pay attention to the glory shop. There's one stone per week, and you can buy as much as you want with uh, glory, so make sure you pay attention to which stone is in there. Bear says, I also sometimes try to match lycanthropy gems with skulls, and I'm just like, why won't it match? Yeah, me too, 100%. I said that like as soon as it came in. I'm like trying to match it. I'm trying to match the faces, you know? It's the only f other face in the game, so I'm trying to, like, put the faces together. Lycanthropy kept changing my sigil Val Ravens when I was hitting them with Essence of Evil. Oh, that's sad, Markio. I'm good too, man, Tosh. Good to hear. Lycanthropy needs to be toned down. What up, Dr. Mop? Dr. Mop is here. Does 12 or 1 matter that much? And the stone from Glory this week works with Tina, right? Uh, what's the stone this week? I don't know. I'll have to check it out. I forget. Can't remember. Let's do this battle, and then we'll do one of your teams. You probably have to repost it. Whoever reposts their team first, I'll do that. But I'll definitely look for you, uh, D-Rock. If you don't want to repost, I'll definitely look for yours, too. Um, So they got two Tinas on their team over there. So let's, let's, uh, let's use green here. Shocktopus. Try to get rid of those Tinas. Ooh, they got one up. Let's hit it. Oh, we didn't hit it. So it's okay. It's okay. They've only got two troops over there. We should be. Oh, we should be fine. Okay, now engineers drill. Whenever I lose a troop, this becomes more important to cast. I like having four troops. Ooh. Still win. Undefeated team. Made up off the top of my brain. Three trophy. Working our way up to tier one. Alright, so yeah. That would be my team that I came up with the top of my head right now. For t uh, Tina being in the Soul Forge. I'd say Tina 9000. Shocktopus. Uh, Engineer's Drill. Leprechaun. Mechanist Class. Maze Banner. And the good thing about this team is, look. That's not a legendary or a mythic. That's not a legendary or a mythic. You don't really need too much from the mechanics uh, class, except for to have it fully traded. So this whole team's really easy to get, other than Tina, which is important. 
for people that are getting Tina in the Soul Forge, it might be like their first mythic that they're crafting, or their second or their third. So you don't want to like fill your team up with legendaries and mythics, because in my head I'm thinking of a person that this is one of their first mythics that they're crafting. They're trying to make a team for it. And here we go, you know, this is just an epic, it's not a legendary or a mythic, you know, Leprechaun, everybody has that. And then Engineer's Drill was just available last week, or this week, or whatever, it was recently. And Mechanist, you don't need it fully, fully, fully traded, or, uh, you don't need it fully leveled to 100, but only fully traded, so. Good team for a beginner that's just crafting Tina. No Tesla, which is a legendary, no other mythics, which are hard to get, so... Let's make another one. Another Tina team. So let's get rid of Shocktopus. So whoever... Let me... Whoever I see first here, I'm gonna use your team. Arachnian Weaver's your favorite troop strodium? Yeah, I like... I'm using that in the world event right now. Yeah, that's a top 10 mythic for me too, strodium. It's number 10, but it's my, it's a top 10, so... It's a top 10 mythic. Even though it's number 10, I, I could, I'll still say... It's a top 10 mythic for sure. Um, does 12 or 1 matter that much? And the stone from Glory this week works with Tina, right? Raymond, uh, yeah. It, de if you, it depends. Are you metal farming or are you just trying to get trait stones? Because most of the time, like in the end game, people, um, if they're going to farm anything that's probably metals and then they're getting trait stones also. But if you're just going for trait stones, then difficulty one would probably be the best way to go. Or whatever you can clear in one shot. Some people do difficulty two. Some people can do three. I think I've even heard of people doing four. And then, like, there's a Phoenicia team that'll do five if you have enough Nisha medals. But most people just do one because, hey, I'm going after, um, I'm going after trait stones. That's all I care about. Who cares about anything else? I'm farming trait stones right now, so... Just just blow through difficulty one over and over and over and get those trait stones. I mean, 12 would be way better if you can do it, because then you can maybe get some Nisha tokens while you're doing it. But yeah, like I said um, a couple live streams ago, the only difficulties that matter in Explore, it's like 1, 2, 3, 5, and 12. Anything else, don't do it. You don't do 11. You don't do 10. You don't do 9. You know, there's only a few that matter. You're either doing the hardest one so you can get a chance at Nisha tokens and everything, or you're doing the easiest one so you can get it done super fast. Um, if you're not clearing it in one shot, then you're doing difficulty 12. So don't do like 11 and 10 and 9. That's weird. Just do 12 if you're going to do that. Don't do like 6 and 7 and 8. Do 1 or 2. There's no point. Um, you keep removing Lycanthrocky gems by uninstalling the game. That's funny. I wish that worked. <laughs> you got Arachnian Weaver today, Dr. Mop? You should use it in the world event. Strodium says, Lycanthropy should only work on human troops, and they should create other gems that only work on the other troop types to remove the total annoyance of... Yeah, they need a tweak somehow. That last battle was super annoying. Then again, that's a lot of programming work, says Bear. Markio says, yep, Lycanthropy has way too much effect on fights. Shardium Wolf says, life and death, Arachnian Weaver, Thrall, or Leprechaun, and Umber Wolf it back with Archmage class, absolutely destroyed. By the way, I got a poll running right now, guys. If you haven't voted on the poll yet, I got a poll on the community tab. I'm going to go through all the classes, and we're going to decide which class. We're going to, like, do a, a March Madness type thing with the classes, so... I'm just doing them in alphabetical order, so you'll, you'll be able to guess which the next five are. But right now, it's just the first five classes. Which one's the best? Just pick one out of the first five. So, you know, on my community tab right now, you know, I got Archer, Archmagus, Assassin, Barbarian, and Bard. You have to pick one. Which one's the best, basically? And I don't want to say which one I think's the best because I don't want to affect the uh, outcome. I just want you guys to vote, and then I'll vote at the end. Like, I'll put in the comments which one I thought was the best out of the five, and then I'll put which one won. Then we'll move on to the next five. You know, Corsair, Death Knight, Dervish, Diabolist, and Doomsayer. So, and then we'll go to the next five, and the next five. It's going to take a little while, and I want to leave it up for at least a few days. So it might take us, like, all month, but 
we'll do like a tournament style bracket thing with all the classes. If you, hopefully, uh, go vote on that so we can get as many votes as possible. <clears throat> um, purple Guild Wars Day winner, says Strodium. Uh, young Mo Ali runs Mang, Infernus, Obsidious, and Possessed King. Uh, is that a bad idea? I mean, you're just using, like, maybe, I don't know, depends. Or like, is that like your only three mythics and you're trying to put them all on one team? I would say if you're having, if you have that team, you want some, um, you probably want some more mana generation for, I would take Mang off and maybe put like Mountain Crusher or Reflection of Good or Essence of Evil, something that explodes. Because those, those troops all use a bunch of mana and you're already doing a bunch of damage with Infernus and Obsidious. So you probably don't need the Mang stripping armor and giving it to attack. I mean, that's usually like a, a skull spammy type weapon or a uh, event specific type weapon like tower or raid. So I would say switch your weapon out at least. And then Possessed King's usually used when you're doing like extra turns a lot. Like you're a loopy type of team doing a lot of extra turns because it, ex it has the uh, unstable possession where it explodes every time you do an extra turn. So kind of uh, another thing I would mention like that's more for a team that uh, doing a lot of extra turns and exploding. But if it's all you got, I mean Possessed King's good. Uh, Mark you. I got Ketris out of a glory chest. Wow, a glory chest. Raymond, both kind of mainly trait stones to get those early traits. D-Rock, try Book of Brambles, Yao, Weaver, King Avalor, and Maze Banner. Uh, Raymond says, thanks for the info. I really appreciate it. Sebastian, gold medal, Phoenicia. I wish I could, man. Um, a business having to work to keep their customers happy? Never. Dr. Mop, I haven't got Book of Brambles. Looks nice, though. Good morning, Pamela. EOE. EOE. You want to use it in the event. Or any green weapon. Book of Brambles is a good weapon to have, says Strodium. D-Rock, as Bear said, the mana cost is high. Young Mo, okay, thanks. Um, Dr. Mop's been using Web Spinner, Life and Death, Weaver, and Avalon. Yeah, those go good together. Um, uh... Arachnian Weaver and um, Life and Death always go good together because they hit like the same enemies and it's all true damage. Does anybody have a team here for for Tina so we can get moving? I know some people posted some, but they're like way up in the top of the chat now. Let me see if I can find them. Let me go look for this. Uh, look for this D Rock team, I guess. D Rock team. Tina, Reflection of Good, Leprechaun, Tink. Tina, Drill Shooter, Spark Grinder, Tink. All right, I'm going to try your team here. Tina, Drill Shooter. Drill Shooter. This is D-Rock's team. Tina Drill Shooter, Spark Grinder, Tink. Sparky Grindy. Come on now, let's go. What's Spark Grinder do? I don't use Spark Grinder too often. What does Spark Grinder do? Here he is. Oh yeah, that guy. Looks like he's drunk. Doesn't he look like he's drunk? Um, give a attack and armor to an ally. If the ally is a mech, give double the effect. Ooh, that'd be cool if you had like a skull, like a skull storm or or something. I don't even have this guy traded. <laughs> Let's get him fully traded. Yeah, I'll trade him. And he's leveled. Okay. Recruit. And what was the last one? Uh, Tink Steam Whistle? For that Electro Storm? There he is. Legendary, but easy to get. Because you can go down to Tinker Town and throw Chaos Shards at the portal. 
And he has a summon, right? Tinkertown bots. Give armor and life to all allies boosted by red gems. Summon one to three Tinkertown bots. Conjure an Electra Storm and my turn begins. All right, let's try it. Mechanist class, right? Our banner's probably fine. Uh, double green, double red. We got a lot of green, a lot of red. So let's just keep that. We're minusing purple, which we don't use. So that that's probably fine. Let's try this team. It might be on three trophy, which if it loses here, don't it don't count. Because I think I accidentally have it on three trophy. Oops, I had mute on. Um, purple extra turn. We're frozen on yellow and red. So we'll keep that in mind. One, two, three. Let's not do that. The only problem here is just like... I'm going to take this blue and get rid of these skulls, I think. Try to get our engine or uh, drill shooter up. Um... A lot of the time, what I see with some teams is, like, just a slow start. The What's king right now is, like, double double empowered converters or double empowered. Like, the thing that's meta right now is, like, empowered. Empowered, 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 empowered. So, just keep that in mind. The, the other team is probably going to start really fast, so you can't start slow. Most of the time, especially, like, in a Guild Wars or something, that other team has something that's empowered or a double empowered that's what i've been seeing a lot of lately is double empowered all over the place get a tina off so we can get some armor let's try to get our a drill shooter up or something um i don't know spark grinder's getting blocked pretty bad not blocked bad but it's not getting any red tink tink's really blocked up but he's mostly there just for the electra storm i'm sure we have nothing okay brown could take red again but uh let's take red and let's take this uh extra turn all right here we go we're off to the races now we should be good now there we go. Let's use that electrified plating. Boom. And drill shooter. This has Vorpal, by the way. It has a percent chance to uh, just instant kill. 20% chance of lethal to first enemy. Wow, it does. Does it do yellow and red? Nice. So Electra Storm plus drill shooter plus Tina. That's nice. I like it. The only thing I would say is maybe... Uh, if you take off Spark Grinder, you could put on, like, a Leprechaun or something and just get started faster. Only thing I would maybe mention. This is the only thing that, that so far has been the slow start. Everything else has been cool. Nice. I think it knocked out a, a three trophy right away. Nothing can beat your Ironhawk team, White Rabbit. Let's start down with one trophy. Let's go through all the trophies with this. Even though it already beat a three trophy. Let's give it... Let's let's let it shine. What's your uh, Ironhawk team, White Rabbit? Most of the time, Ironhawk's just used for vault keys. Like, for that quick kill vault. No turns for the enemy team. Um... I think you'd really want to take blue. Try to get that. Um. Yeah, maybe we just take skulls. Try for well, it's it's freaking one trophy, so yeah. It's one trophy. Oh, uh, we can get blue right here. I want that uh, drill shooter. Uh, yeah, sure, brown. Tina's up. Tina is up. T 
Tina's alarm went off. Killed everybody. Nice. Mike, uh, what up, Mike? How's it going, Mike? Hey, Cindy, finally I get to see one of your live streams. Yeah, man. We do it every Saturday morning for sure. Like, I, it's summertime, so I'm, like, popping up here and there on other days, like, doing extra live streams right now. But, um, we do every every Saturday morning. I think I've only missed, like, two Saturdays in the last, like, year and a half. Maybe three. Uh... Rain Man says, Cinny, I have TGK, TPK, and Phonesia. Which would you gold medal? I would gold medal Phonesia probably first. I think she gets the most benefit. Uh, the Possessed King, I would not. Phonesia, for sure. That's one of the mythics in the game that people like to medal first. So, Phonesia, 100%. TPK, no. He's usually just on the end of a team for his final trait, so you don't really need him fully medaled. He'd probably be one of the last mythics I'd fully medal. And then TGK, I'm not sure on TGK, but... If I had to put them in some order, I would say Phoenicia first, TGK second, then uh, TPK last. Bear said, if I had to choose Phoenicia, and I'm sure Cinny would say the same, right? Sebastian, sweet, two troops immune to lycanthropy. Yeah, that's like uh, something you want these days. Strodium, don't really have a top 10 mythic as they are all situational. Skatey is awesome as a supply card for the Blue Storm, but useless otherwise. HKI is awesome at Delves, but useless otherwise. You think High King Iron Guts useless other than Delves? He's good at um, Tower of Doom as well. He's on, he's on, like you pair him with Zulgoth and like have that Fireblade going. That's a really uh, nice team, even for uh, like Guild Wars, or not Guild Wars, but PvP. Young Mo says, so Mountain Crusher, Infernus, Obsidious, and what else would you suggest? Um, I don't know, man. You got Infernus, so you're blowing stuff up and you're setting everything on fire. You got Obsidious, so you're stunning everyone. Yeah, Mountain Crusher, because I think they... Nah. Infer does Infernus use brown? Probably not. I think Obsidious does, though. Um, They both use what color? They got red, I think, right? So maybe something that blows up red or something that, uh, always go with an empowered something. Empowered exploder, empowered converter. I'll say something, leprechaun's never, like, you can, leprechaun's almost always good. Even though I don't think you're using any green. But that doesn't really matter because you're blowing up everything around the green, not just the green. So but if you can think of something like maybe harpy mage, I think, would be good. Yellow, red. But she'd be really blocked in. Um, I don't know. I'd say Harpy Major, Leprechaun. Or Thrall, maybe? Thrall? Angry Mob? Those are some ideas for you, at least. You don't, know, you don't really want to load up your team full of Mythics, usually. Because then you just have so much mana that you have to fill up. Usually a good team has one or two Mythics on it. Not, not three or four. Uh, you'll never see a team of four mythics like dominating. It just doesn't happen because they're so they need 24 mana. You know, like that's a lot. By the time you fill this one up, the fourth one's never gonna get up, and the third one's probably never gonna get up. And then the whole time you're just filling up that first mythic, and the other team's probably looping on you or double converting or whatever, destroying you. In the meantime, you don't want to be slow. This game's all about speed. Whether it's getting your troops up or one-shotting through everything or whatever it is mostly about speed like getting stuff done quickly uh blue i want blue i want blue i want blue i want blue there's some blue nice um i don't know yellow and red there we go uh could try for that sky green. Probably won't happen, though. It's going to be yellow or red. But we could get a sky red, too. We don't need purple, though, so what am I talking about? There we go. All right, now we have Drill Shooter and Tina. Let's go with Tina first. 
Now the drill shooter. I'm not even going to take this yellow because we're going to make a bunch of yellow and red anyway, and hopefully we hit it. There we go. Got it. Spark grinder. He's going to grind on you. Let's give it to Mr. Mech up there. What's he do? Mm. Let's just do it. Just do it for fun. Uh, da, 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 red extra turn. Red extra turn. Yellow, big ol' yellow. Another red. We got Spark Grinder again. We got Skulls, though. Now we got Tina, and we win. Alright, cool. So far, so good. It's undefeated. I mean, what else can you ask for? And one more time. Three trophy. Let's see if it can win two, tr two three trophies. The only thing I'd say about Skady Strodium Wolf is that you can get a blue storm from, like, the Jar of Eyes and, like, some classes and stuff. Like, it used to be Skady was awesome because she was, like, one of the only blue storms in the game. But now there's more blue storms in the game, and she's otherwise she's not the greatest. But, um, what was that? I'm just flew through the air. It was a ghost. Double blue. Uh oh. But here's an example of a team here. This thing starts battles with full mana, so empowered. Converting yellow gems to skulls. Then you got this web spinner. Dealing triple skull damage to poison and webbed enemies. So that's another type of team where it does triple damage to something. And usually it'll set you up to where it's like a certain day, like Guild Wars color day. And then it's doing triple damage to that color. And then this thing's empowered and it's turning yellow to skulls. And like it's so, it's set up perfectly to like destroy you. So you gotta, you gotta make sure your team is, is fast. And you got your, your empowered troops as well. Let's try to get rid of a uh, web spinner. Should we go with Tina? Or should we go ahead and... Uh, might do this first. 46 attack and armor. So it would get uh, 92 armor from that. Or 104 from this. Let's do this then. Oh, it died still. Dang. Did some work before it died, though, huh? I think we're still going to be okay. Oh, we should need to get that uh, uh, drill shooter up quickly. Oh, no, we can do Tink. Let's do this. And, uh... Yeah, we'll just, um... Uh-oh, they got the stupid summon going on. This might be closer than I think it is. What's this do? Of course it exploded. Let's do this again. They don't really have any kind of damage, so this is just they're annoying me. They're going to annoy me until I quit. Some teams are like that. They'll just keep summoning and summoning and summoning and summoning, and their main goal is just to annoy you into giving up. Like, they don't really have a way to win or anything. They're just going to annoy the crap out of you until you retreat. Like, I don't even really want to do Spark Grinder right now because it's not helping me win. Oh, yeah, it is. It gives me attack. Never mind. So we can get a bunch of attack and maybe destroy something with Skulls. Need to get that drill shooter up, though. Blue and green. Blue and or green, please. Let's take green. The only other thing going on today is the uh, pet. So make sure you go do the pet and, like, your adventure board and your dungeons. And if you don't have the campaign done, do your share in the world event. There's plenty of stuff to do. Like, that's why I'm not... Like, I'll do a live stream any day, because there's always something to do. We could sit here and do 
boss chests or delves or arena even. But I got vault keys that I need to open. I'm trying to get that stupid um emperor sun or whatever. Still haven't got it. I've gotten like power orbs, but I still haven't got the emperor. All right. We're getting there. I'm not giving up. We don't give up. They're going to keep summoning in. I'm going to keep summoning in. Maybe I will give up since we're on live stream, but that's the only reason. Not because I think I'll ever lose, but... Like, eventually this is just going to get boring. And that's what they want, though. That's what I hate. I hate giving in to teams like this. I'd rather sit here and waste my own time. Just so they don't get a win. Sit here and waste my own time and your time. We don't want this person to get a win. Do we? Would you, do you guys run away from this type of stuff? I think I would eventually, for sure. But i definitely try to take them out. Wasting my life here on this stupid team. Uh, come on. I summon, they summon, we all summon together. Alright, we can do some damage, right? There we go, finally. That that does it. We win now. We got this now. Their hero's gone, no more stupid summon. There we go can't let them win you can't let those people win with their stupid summon 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 crap they just want to annoy you into leaving retreating all right so that was two tina teams you guys want to do another one or do you want to move on to just regular gameplay maybe some vault maybe we'll do the pet does anybody have a team i'm gonna look here's your chance 10 seconds post your team tina 9000 team the one that we haven't done yet and uh, 